Okay, so obviously, as you know, Andrew Tate has been in the news a lot lately for many unsavory things, one of which, of course, being the fact that he's probably a human trafficker. And there are reports that the women that he's human trafficking have tattoos on their bodies that say property of Tate. Andrew Tate actually has done a music video that I'm going to react to today. Okay, I have yet to see this music video. I haven't seen not one minute of it. Now, a lot of people have said that this music video is absolute dog water, it's garbage, it sucks, but I'm here to, uh, to decide that for myself. You know, I don't like people telling me what to think. So, I'm here today reviewing this song. Uh, let's see how it, uh, let's see how it goes. Here we go. Sick boy on the beat. Boy on the beat. Okay, starting off with a mid beat. There's his Bugattis, we all know about his Bugattis. Uh, suicide doors. That's what they. I, you, know, you know, there's something strange about just putting the word suicide on screen. I got to be honest with you. Kind of weird. I don't know who thought that was. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who thought that was a good idea, but it is not. Uh, okay, uh, moving on. Here we go. McLaren 720, but it sound like a plane. When I'm on the road, stay in your lane. Beacon killed like a shot to the brain. <laughs> You know what's worse is that, you know, this this particular song, it said that it came out literally six months ago. Why haven't I heard of this? Why is it, he wasn't bullied enough over this song? The, you know, the real problem here is people who are fans of Andrew Tate. The problem is when you become so big and rich and famous and popular, you begin to think that things like this is, is something you should do. Logan Paul did the same thing, right? You, you, you become so into yourself, you think this is good. This is garbage. And I feel bad for him, honestly, because he was boosted up to believe this was good. No hope. I was broke. Did it dirty. No soap. I was going to write a suicide note. But now I kill him making suicide notes. What? <laughs> okay, now listen. There's nothing funny about suicide. And suicide is actually a very sad subject. And if anybody out there needs help, here's the hotline number. Please make sure you share it to the appropriate channels and get anybody who needs the help. But when he talks about it, it sounds like a gimmick. And I, you know, my thing is with people like Andrew Tate, I think what, what makes me so upset is that I'm not, I'm not mad about his story, right? He started from the bottom, blah, 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 worked his way up through fighting and mixed martial arts, da, da, da. Okay. I think it's the line itself. Let, 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 real quick, let's just, I want to re-listen to that line. No hope, I was broke, did it dirty, no soap, I was gonna write a suicide note, but now I kill it making suicide notes. Like, what does that mean? I was gonna write a suicide note, but now I'm making a killing writing suicide notes? Is that, let me, because at this point, I don't. Making suicide notes. Making suicide, I'm making a killing making suicide notes. What does that even mean? I don't, okay, let's, <laughs> let, all right, let's, let's just keep going. Bang, bang it out, bang it out, kill the game, I don't want to hang about, white chicks, no doubt, kind of money made these hoes want to shout. <laughs> if you're a white chick, I just want to formally apologize for this video because Andrew Tate has somehow claimed you as, as one of his hoes. I am... I never thought I'd be apologizing to white people, but I, I feel as though this is the appro appropriate time. White women, I want to formally apologize on behalf of Andrew Tate. I am so sorry that he feels as though he owns you as hoes. This is horrific, horrendous, and such, such a bad time. And quite honestly, listening to this song, I'm, I'm beginning to understand the hate toward Andrew Tate. I'm beginning to understand it now. I mean, I understand it before, but I definitely understand it now. So bounce with me, bounce with me. Got my brother in the gang sipping in the house with me. To ride for me, die for me. Put your fucking hands in the sky for me. Did he just say die for me? Did he just say die for me? Hold on. Put your fucking hands in the sky for me. Put your fucking hands in the sky. Ride for me, die for me. Put your fucking hands in the. That man said die for me. That man said die for me. Did y'all hear that part? He wants you to die for him. 
If you are an Andrew Tate fan, he just asked you to die for... Bro, this is insane. Y'all didn't listen to this song? Do y'all, y'all didn't listen to this song? Oh, my God. Die for me. That's me. That's me. Big daddy T, A, T to the E. Money on my mind every day, every night. Mess with me and you're committing suicide. That's right. What did he just say? Oh, my God. This man is a criminal. Are y'all listening to the words he's saying? Bro, run it back. Hold on, let me turn on the caption because at this point, I, I don't I don't feel like anybody is really... Okay, all right. That's what me and you're committing suicide. On my mind, every day, every night, mess with me and you are committing suicide. I have so many questions about this line. So is he suggesting that if you mess with him, for some reason... His influence and his power is going to make you want to commit the act of self-harm and self-deletion? Or is he saying that if you mess with him, you're committing social suicide in which you basically uh, take whatever uh, authority or um, anything you have in your life going on and you're going to ruin it because you mess with him. This line is, there's something wrong with this line. I don't like it. It gives me bad vibes. That's right. Door suicide. Kurt Cobain. McLaren 720. But it's oh my God. No! Andrew! You can't say stuff like that. You can't say stuff like that. You can't say the word. You can't say suicide doors and then mention Kurt Cobain, a man who shot himself in the head. Come on. No. Andrew. Nowadays, we're getting paid. We throw money, you throw shade, kicking down the door like police in a raid. Hey, the oh, no! <laughs> no! No! Andrew, you didn't just say that! No! 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 Throw money, you throw shade, kicking down the door like police in a raid. Oh my god. Bro, did he just did he just do a self-fulfilled prophecy? Did he just say that? No, Andrew. Buddy. Hold on, run it back, run it back, run it back, run it back, run it back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You throw shade, kicking down the door like police in a raid. Oh my god, he actually said that. Did, he, he couldn't have known. He had to have known, right? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This video, this video was made on June 21st, 2022. There's no way. There's no way he could have known. Could he have known? Maybe he had to have. This, this is, nobody's talking about this song. How is this, how is, how did this get past everybody? Kicking down the door like police in a raid. Haters want to talk, we just dig another grade. No, no joke. Free smoke. Uh, supermodels. Deep throat. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no. That man said supermodels deep throat. Bro, what are you doing? How, oh my god. Wave while you're struggling to float. Still setting sails, might buy myself a boat. Or, or a yacht. I'm too hot. 25 bottles when I He said I might buy myself a boat or a yacht. Andrew? Um I just want to make sure we are all on the same page. Okay. Um is a uh a yacht. Uh, a boat. Let's just. I just want to make sure we're on the same page here. I don't want to be funny about it. Okay, a yacht is a larger uh, uh, rec uh, recreational boat or ship. Andrew, I'm not. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to be funny. Like I'm. I'm really trying to be objective here, and I'm not trying to be funny. But uh, in your song, you said that you would get a, a yacht, a, a boat, or a yacht. But a uh, a boat is is just a a smaller. Uh, it, a yacht is is a bigger boat. It's a bigger type of boat. So like I got what you were trying to say there, but it's uh, it's the same thing. Still setting sails, might buy myself a boat or, or a yacht. I'm too hot. 
25 bottles when I step up in the spot. First of all, thank God that song is over. He paid very little money for that photo of that uh, video shoot. It surprises me for somebody who is as wealthy as he is. And just real quick, I, I just want to go over the numbers here. Um, Andrew Tate net worth. So according to the 2023 earnings, he is estimated uh, almost $700 million. Now, again, I don't want to nitpick here, but those visuals, I I feel like he paid a bargain for that. And I find that strange. Maybe it's because he spent so much money on the, on the Bugattis. Okay, he has a lot of Bugattis. Also, the fact that he basically self-prophesied the fact that the police would bang down and raid his compound is uh is is mind-blowing <laughs> i i i almost feel like he he knew that someone was sniffing him out i don't know so while editing this it had came to my attention that he was actually raided in april of 2022 and made the song and music video in june of 2022 but it still almost seemed as if he knew that something else was com coming like maybe he was going to get raided again i don't know Anyway, while editing, I, I realized that. So maybe that's what it was related to, perhaps. But it seemed like he was talking about a potential future event. I don't know. I mean, if you guys don't know what happened, basically, Andrew Tate got in a Twitter argument with a uh, an environmentalist named Greta Thunberg. You guys know who she is. And during this argument, he decided to go off about his Bugattis. She said something nasty to him. His response was, well, a few responses, but one of which was a video where he decided to have a uh, a uh, pizza box um in the video in the actual image of the video and uh by the way it, when you are in trouble the last thing you want to do is make a video especially with a pizza box that has the name and address of the actual uh pizza place which thereby will uh, inform people as to where you are. And that's what he did, Jerry's Pizza. So right here, if you look, uh, this is actually the Jerry's Pizza logo. Uh, and in the video that he made as a response to Greta Thunberg, he actually put this pizza box front and center. And in doing that, the police in the local area, I believe he is in Poland or Romania or something, they found out where he was and they raided him and his brother and uh, they were arrested promptly. I don't know. I, 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 I actually feel bad for Andrew Tate fans. You know, like this is the guy you champion. This is the guy you probably pay money to. Um, and honestly, though, and, and I'm going to say this, the song, six out of ten. Six out of ten. It's a six out of ten. It wasn't that bad. I mean, the lyrics were abhorrent. And Wow. But outside of that, the beat actually wasn't that bad. The beat alone, I give it a 6 out of 10. The lyrics, 0 out of 10. Visuals, 4 out of 10. I, you know, it, wasn't that, it wasn't that bad of a video. But, he, but I, the lyrics were trash. This... How has no one talked about this?